What is up guys, Zan for playbook.gg and in today's video we're going to build off our video yesterday continuing with our iForm Close Flex mini scheme. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now in today's video we're going to break down the play PA tight end corner. Now I think that this is a great play because it does a good job of talking about Basically, what we mentioned yesterday in our video about Flinker Drive, make sure you guys click the link in the description and check that video out if you missed it yesterday. It's a nice video that shows you a couple ways to manipulate cover to defense. Now, what we're gonna do here is build off of that setup from yesterday and show you a similar but slightly different setup that is going to do wonders against the cover two defense so we're going to go ahead and go right back into the cover two because that's what pretty much everyone runs here at the tail end of mad 19 and we're going to put the ball with the twins on the short hash and we're going to go ahead and put the x receiver on a hitch and we're going to streak or fade the tight end most likely you're going to want to streak and i'll explain why here in just a second now with this particular play, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you can go ahead and put the fullback on a option route, and that option route is gonna do a nice job of giving you an underneath option, as well as looking like a lead blocker on some sort of dive call. So you can leave the play action fake on this play if you would like. I'm an under center player. I like to mix in run and play action into my game, so um, I will definitely run the play action from time to time if I feel like I can get the good protection to hold up and let the routes develop. Uh, if you want, you can block the running back if you wish. Um, totally up to you if you do block the running back i would recommend instead blocking the running or the blocking the fullback and putting the running back on the option route but it's totally up to you so we're going to go ahead and first show you the setup here with the fullback on this and the play action included now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you the fullbacks route it's going to be wide open in the middle of the field you can go ahead and throw this route this is very typical of how you would attack a cover two defense a lot of times in the cover two defense you're talking about a mid read defender this mid read defender is going to turn and run down the middle of the field with any vertical threat in this case that's the tight end and what that does is that leaves the shallow area underneath wide open so you can go ahead and throw this ball to your fullback and pick up a gain of about uh, probably probably seven to ten yards on this throw pretty consistently unless your opponent uses it now the great thing about this play is we're going to give ourselves another check down option on this same play with the same setup so uh, we're now going to go ahead and glance back over to pierre garcon now in yesterday's video we talked about the deep out with a hitch route over the top and that's a nice little route that you can throw uh, pretty consistently and you can pick up this hitch now um, the deep out route breaking over the top is designed to pull back the vertical hook and allow you to throw that route. We talked about how a route that breaks out over the top of a hitch is gonna do a good job of pulling that route back, so, or that zone back. But in this particular play, you have a route that's breaking over the top of the hitch and outside and then bending back over the middle. We've already talked about the mid read defender on this play, Bobby Wagner. He's going to go ahead and run with Kittle. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to throw this post route as it breaks back over the middle to that receiver. So that receiver now is serving a purpose to basically pull back the vertical hook zone off of Pierre Garcon. But it's also going to return back to the middle of the field into this void underneath because the mid read zone is going to run with Kittle. Now, most players who play cover two, they're gonna take this middle linebacker and they're gonna put him in a deep middle third. So he's gonna turn and bail regardless of mid read or deep middle third, which means that this route is always gonna be open. Now, you also factor in that with this play, you see how wide open this hitch is. So we could go right back to this particular setup and run the exact same thing here and just hit this X hitch off of the play action fake. So wait for that route to, to pull the zone back and pick up your eight to 10 yards off of the play action fake. Now, again, you don't have to play action fake. If you want to, you can block the fullback and put the running back on that route. It'll do the exact same thing in terms of your route progression. So let's go ahead and start with the running back on the option underneath. You're gonna be able to hit him. If he's covered, you're gonna go back to the hitch to Garcon because you know that's gonna be open. So uh, it's totally up to you how you wanna go ahead and do this, but you'll definitely see that the running back makes this work. So again here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to look at that short 
underneath area. The running back checks down. Go ahead and throw the ball to the running back in the middle. If he's covered by the vertical hook, throw it to Garcon. Now, of course, without the play action, you're still going to get the effect of the tight end pulling the mid-read zone vertical. And then that's going to open up that backside and post to Goodwin. So Goodwin's going to pull back and make Garcon open. And then Goodwin's going to break back over the middle and get open himself, allowing you to throw that and pick up a gain of about 20, 25 yards. So this play does a great job of attacking cover two in about three or four different areas in the field first thing we talk about is obviously the shallow stuff so the running backs open the short hitch is open and then you're going to have the post route is your next progression so this is a short to deep progression and you have the route over the middle underneath the middle linebacker the route to the outside underneath goodwin then goodwin's route a little bit deeper now if you really want to get cute with this you could go ahead and put the running back on a option route and then swing the fullback out to the right that's going to take advantage of yesterday's tips so if you guys watched the video yesterday about how to manipulate vertical hooks you're going to see the same effect you're going to see that that's basically going to get the tight end uncovered initially off the line now if they don't have a mid-read zone and they're in a the middle third that middle linebacker that you just saw guard the tight end will not end up guarding him. He'll just float towards the middle of the field. So what we saw here is the fullback on the swing pulls the vertical hook from guarding the tight end. And you see that there's a lot of turf right here in this area where the reticle is. Now, if this middle linebacker doesn't snap into match coverage on the tight end down the middle, because most players who play cover two, like I said, they're going to put them in the middle of the third. And that middle third is going to drop into the area between these two safeties splitting the field so that'll leave a lot of turf right here in this area of the field for the tight end to get wide open so it just depends on how they want to run their cover too um, but either way you're going to have this backside post and both of your short check down options open on this play hopefully this video was informational for you guys if it was make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys with our next video tomorrow here on the playbook gg youtube channel until then this is zan getting the lab and good luck if you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.